Hey, greetings. Performance reviews, where I give you the review from the technician's point of view. And today we're going to do an unboxing on the Mila Triflex HX1. Now, this red color indicates it's a home care model, which means it's exclusive to brick and mortar stores. And the trade off going to a brick and mortar store, they're going to show you how to use the product, they're going to let you try it, and they're going to give you a slightly longer warranty with some added accessories. So it's a better deal for the consumer. And of all the Triflex models, I think this one probably makes the most sense for the consumer. So let's see what's on the box. 60 minutes of runtime. We'll see if that's true. And one thing I'll tell you about moving this box, whatever kind of ink that they're using on their boxes now, just like wipes right off onto your hands. And right away, that is something that kind of annoys me. I'm sure they're trying to make it more eco-friendly or something like that, knowing Mila. So they tell you the type of surfaces. We have all of our descriptions there. They tell you why it's called the Triflex, because it can be configured in a hand vac, in a Dyson-like stick vac, and as a, like a quick broom with the gravity mounted low. So that's kind of nice. The other thing here is, this is a model SMUL0, in case you're wondering. And those are the details. So let's go ahead and open the box. Now, the first thing to note, you're kind of just greeted with the manual and a QR code for you, so that's kind of nice. If you want to skip the manual and go straight to a video or something. We have a traditional Mila dusting brush, a Mila crevice tool, and a really wide upholstery tool. This is kind of nice uh, with silicone lint pickers, so that's a little different than some of their traditional tools. So those are the three handheld tools that are there. We are greeted with the battery, instructions on how to put it on in several languages, and they're telling us we need to charge it for four hours. And of course, it's lithium ion, so you know, all the safety hazards and stuff apply. Again, another QR code. Inside this box, we have the battery with yet another label telling us to wait four hours that you have to peel off. So you can't even put it on the vacuum without looking at this label. Then you are greeted with the wand. And this wand is a polymer of some sort, but it feels very, very sturdy. This is the wall charger. And oh, that's clever. In the wall charger, there's like a little compartment for your screws and they give you really nice long two inch screws. Those would go into a stud if you had one, and then they give you some really nice looking mollies. Um, so these are nicer ones I see at Home Depot. So that's a really nice touch from Mila. And again, this is your charger. So there's a interesting like silver duct tape sticker on there. There's your handle. And your cleaner no nozzle. It's a little sticker explaining how it works. Three in one. We have a brush roller. Let's see, this is, yeah, this is made in Germany on here. I do not see a vessel work stamp on here. I was kind of expecting to see one on here. So what's cool about this is you can flip this lever and you can pull the brush out really easy on this and maintain it. And these brushes, they're not overly stiff but they feel a lot better than a lot of the other stick vacuums. And of course you have a Chevron design, so that will aid in cleaning. So really nice that goes in. And then there's some rubber to deal with vibration since that brush doesn't turn off on hard floor, that kind of keeps it uh, from hurting the brush roller bearings. It's a really nice touch how that head works. And of course this has a nice swivel neck on it. And then under the styrofoam, we have a tool holder, so and they have like a little picture of the tools. So, unlike a lot of companies where you have to buy this separately, this is actually going to come with the unit, and that's going to attach to the stand right there. That's that's really nice. Oh, and then we have, uh, oh yeah, it's charger. So we got the charger right there, and then we have the actual motor and dust collection unit right here and it feels very solid. Well, there's a look at what it comes with. Everything included in the box, in case you're wondering, 
all the accessories, the wand, and all of that. Let's go ahead and assemble this. And again, you want to make sure you charge this four hours. I let it charge overnight. That just slips onto the unit, like so. And what's cool about this is you don't have to actually wall mount this. You can just plug it in like a cell phone that's more convenient in your living space. Or you can wall mount it and have the whole unit charge like so. And yeah, of course you can have the wand and the handle and everything attached. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you before we assemble the rest of it, how all this opens. Because the first time I saw it, I thought it was a little complex. And I still think it's a little complex. So let's open it up. So you give this a little section, you give it a half turn. And that removes the dust collection from the motor and the battery. And then if we give it more of a turn, it's going to empty. So again, you give it kind of a partial turn, it undoes, full turn, it empties. So that's what that looks like. Now, here's where the curious bits come in. So there's a HEPA style cartridge. It's a very old school way of doing it, but I like it because you can see if it's dirty, it needs to be replaced. And I would imagine about once a year, you'll probably have to replace that just like any other stick vacuum. And then there's a pre uh, filter as well. Now they say you can rinse these. I would give great caution to doing that as this is paper and it's, a lot of times the minerals in the water will actually make it worse. So just be aware. And there's a little QR code with the part number. Your local dealer probably will have an extra one of these filters. I'd recommend you pick one up if you're gonna go with the system. Now, if you wanna put this back on, you cannot twist it like that. You have to have it partially undone. And again, there's a nice diagram. Everything is clearly marked on here. If you look at the arrows, the lock and the unlock and the pull and the un all that. So you should be able to figure that out, but it's just something, something to be aware of when you do it. And then that locks on very sturdily. So we're gonna connect the cleaner head. And one of the best parts about this is it will stand up by itself. I think that's probably the number one reason to buy this over the competition. I think the number two reason would probably be quality. This is just way above any of the others in terms of quality. And then when you put the wand on, it does interlock with that like so. Or if you want to configure it in the top heavy configuration, there is, oh, it's cool. There's like a button release right here. So I pull that and then we can configure it like so. And this is more for doing dusting or other things. While you can use it like this attached, I don't see any reason why you would do this unless, again, you were doing a lot of dusting or something like that. And I think that's kind of what's cool about this is this uses genuine Mila accessories. So there is a great ecosystem that you can use with this. We're going to talk about this thing for a second because it's more complex than it should be. So this opens up, you have a compartment here and this slides here. So you can go mount this bracket to the wall, work it with it, level it. Then you take your tool holder and you attach a tool holder and now we can reattach the bracket to the wall. So that's how that works in case anybody was wondering. It's a very German, very complex, but also very cool. And then of course the other thing you want to do if you are going to wall mount it is you put the cord just like so and that gets wrapped around in here in the strain relief. Now what you can do is you can take up the slack of the cord and hide it in here if the cord is too long and you're right next to a plug. So again, form and function always seem to come together with Mila and this is no exception to the rule. That is just so clean how they do that. All right, let's see how much working vacuum this thing has on its highest setting on a full charge. That's 15 inches of working vacuum and 19 of sealed. Not particularly impressive numbers. This is really no different in terms of its working vacuum. Something like a Dyson or any of those other stick vac, with the exception of maybe like the LGA9. So again, stick vacuums are designed 
For quick pickups, they're not designed to be your only vacuum cleaner. And none of them are, no matter what the marketing is here in 2022. They are all designed for quick pickup and you should vacuum regularly with a full-size vacuum. All right, those of you who are astute might notice a sound difference. We've switched to the studio mic, which is a meter away from the machine right now. And I want you to hear the real sound of the machine on high because it's a lot quieter than a lot of the other machines on the market. Now that's pretty quiet. You could have a conversation while that's going. I think another thing to note with this is we're standing on really high pile plush carpeting. And this actually pushes and works just fine on it. And I can't say that for really any of the other stick vacuums. One other thing I'd like to note is why this doesn't get as low as a canister. It is probably gonna get a lot lower than some of the other ones I've tested here on the channel. So I think the question a lot of people are going to have Will it pick up animal hair on hard floor? Let's find out. Why this machine doesn't have the best sealed suction numbers, it has plenty of airflow, which is rare for a stick vacuum. And as you can see, the animal hair was just flying into the vacuum way before it was even next to it. I hope this has helped you figure out what's in the box and whether or not maybe you want a Mila HX1 stick vacuum. And a lot of this is going to apply to their up and coming HX2 that's coming out, which is rumored to be a little bit more powerful, but looks exactly the same. So a lot of this is still going to apply. So thanks for watching. Give this video a thumbs up. And if you have a dog, comment below. I wanna hear what kind of dog you have. Have yourself a wonderful day.